welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about this trick and continuous random bio By the way, my name is Margaret Albaldado from grade 11 STEM Wisdom. Mm. Now, let's get started. This trick random variable. A district random variable is a random variable that can take on either a finite or a most countably infinite set of the district value. Example, the number of eggs that a hen lays in a given day. The number of people going to a soccer match. The number of students that comes to a class on a given day. Meanwhile, the continuous random variable is a random variable where the data can take infinitely many values. For example, a random variable measuring the time taking for something to be done is continuous since there are infinity number of possible time that can be taken. Example, the length of time it takes a truck to go from New York City to Miami. Two, the, the amount of water in a 12 ounce barrel. The, the weight of a truck in a truck weight station. The difference between district and continuous random variable is that the district variable is a variable whose value is obtained by counting. Meanwhile, the continuous variable is a variable whose value is obtained by measuring. Now, we're going to test yours ourselves in the, this. Classify each random variable as a district or continuous. Okay, number one. The number of a cat in a shelter at any given time. You can take your time, you can get a paper and ball pen. Yes, it is district. Number two. The weight of a newborn baby. Yes, it is continuous. Number three, the weight of a book in the library. Yes, it is continuous again. Number four, the number of a books in the library. Yes, it is this trick. Number five. The length of time someone lives. It is continuous. Or number six. The number of days someone lives. Can you see the difference? It is this trick. You can see the difference between the five and six. At the first line, it says the length, which is you use, you're going to use the measurement. Meanwhile, the number six is said the number where you can count. So let's continue. Number seven, the number of girls in a classroom. It is this trick again. Number eight, height of a boys in a classroom. In a class, my oh God, sorry. It is continuous because you need to get measuring so you should you will know the height of the boys in the class. And that's for today's big visuals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later.